Good morning. Another day or another week. Let's get to building Snippet Pixie version 2. All right. So as we left off uh, on the last session, um, I was building out the help messages for uh, Snippet Pixie, um, the new CLI. Um, and I'd completed the tests. Got that working where you can do a help sub command now, um, as well as the normal dash dash help or dash H. Um, so they're kind of working, um, but we are failing on the tests for um, for the failure conditions. So if you just do snippet pixie help, um, it should produce a failure, but it's not at the moment, I think. Let's check that. So yeah, so we're here, so we should be able to make a test. Okay, yep, so 149, which is in here. We're not getting an error back when we should. Um, so let's actually test, let's make it, and we'll do snippet pixie help. So that's the right output, but Oh, it is an error as well. Interesting. So it is definitely um, acting as if there's an error. Oh, I should bump up there. That's quite a bit of that, isn't it? That's a bit too much, I think. It's a bit better. Okay. Um, that's interesting. All right, let's see what's going on. Let's do, we'll run this test. Actually, let's do, we'll just move this up the top. I'll make it the second thing actually, because I want to see one go around it works um, and then I want to put a break Yeah. Yeah, because that's the first time where I can actually see anything and do anything. Okay. So let's run this test in debug mode. So this is the first step around and We've got a spec. Which is just snippet, just calling snippet pixie on its own. And when I step over that, I get an error. No options supplied. That's fine. So continue. Now the spec is snippet pixie help. Um, and I'm going to step in, I think, and see what it does. So step over, app name's OK. On the switch, it gets to help.
now this is where we're going to see the problem so I'm going to go into the init help flag set Just setting everything up. This is probably never going to be true. So we've set force as the display help. So it will go past that. Now the command is empty at the moment. So we're expecting we're expecting an error now. And we're not getting one. Okay. It was bumped over that. Why? Ah, uh, because, yeah, because empty is okay. Mm -hmm. Not sure whether I need to do anything with that. Okay, but what we should find out is that this doesn't match. And we should get this back as an error which I thought we did. So we come in here, it says there's no, no args have been set. So we display usage to standard error. And then we return a new error. Okay. So we have an error. Okay, so this isn't the one failing then. Interesting. Okay. Um, okay, we'll let that finish off. Let's see what it does. Nothing, okay. Right, so it wasn't that, that's failing. Must be one of these two. Oh, okay. It'll be this one. Right, okay. I need to do something different there then. That's right. So what's happening is this one is getting a command. It just so happens to be one that doesn't exist. So the the actual test we've got here, where we're just passing the flags, is fine. Right. 
So that needs a different type of test. So I reckon if I comment that one out, Yeah, so that passes. Just need to see what that was. Didn't expect any messages. Right. What am I going to do about that then? So, do I. I don't have any way of. Let's take that out. I don't have any way of checking the command. Probably too early, isn't it? So mm, maybe that's the thing I need to do. Maybe in the help, let's undo that. Take it back down here. Maybe I need to actually check. think how do I hmm Ah, oh, okay, of course. At the end here, I know which ones exist as commands. And they should do their thing. If you don't pass the right result, It should do a normal error message. So I should do this basically at the end if it hasn't dealt with the command. So 
let's just say invalid command. I think that's going to be slightly wrong. So, if I do a make on that, so normal help, I'm command required. If I do this, invalid command. maybe there I shouldn't supply any options and just get a yeah That's better. That would be better for not supplying one as well. At least then you can see which commands are available. Yeah, I'll do that. Um, where else do we need to do that? Here, really. Should be okay. Okay. Okay, and then that's all right as well. But if I do help. That's fine. And add. That's fine. Okay. And there we go. Make a test. Right. So that's a little stop after I've I did a bunch of updates today, I suppose. Come on, catch up. Oh, 
I wonder if that's a terminal thing. If I go away and another off to another TMUX session or pain, it always kicks in. I wonder if it's not actually a real stop. Anyway, something to look at some other time. Okay, so that's good. Uh, I think we finished help. That's good. So let's just do a quick couple of tests. Um, I will zoom on this one. So if I do uh, snippet pixie help list, it should be fine. Here we go. If I do minus C, yeah. Dash dash command command equals that's perfectly fine. Um, command without anything. Yep. Where's the argument? Same for minus C. Uh, minus A doesn't know it. Doesn't know dash dash add. Um, what's it going to do when you do help help? help requested. <laughs> That's fine. Um, and if I do dash dash help, that should be normal now. Yeah, with all the options. And if I do help on its own, we just get the commands own help. That's fine. One thing so it calls these things flags shorthand flag unknown flag I should maybe rename options to flag just for uh, just to make sure it's not confusing. So let's do that. So let's just quickly um, commit this. Um, what have we done? Fix up sub command yep. and then I will change I think in here I'll just do a, a global substitution of options to flags just the one and then I'll do a global substitution of capital options to flags Again, just the one. That's good. And then in the test, I might have a few as well. Yeah. So substitute options to flags. Um, and do we have options? I don't think we do. Okay. Hmm. 
that all passes. And then um, just run a couple of these tests. Oh, I've got to make it first. Flax, flax. Help, help. Flax. Help list. Back to flags. Um, oh, didn't mean to do that. Need to do that. Flags. Okay. Sorted. Okay. Rename options to flags in help messages. Okay. That means, I think, We have done this. That is done. And that is done. Sorted. Okay. Next thing. Right, what have we got time for? We've got time for doing a few bits and bobs today. Um, let's do... Right, these are all things for once... Once we're kind of almost done. Um, these are more... Um, related to packaging, really making sure that the package knows what to do, sets up things for the package and settings. So let's do let's do this import sub command because that's a glaring thing at the moment. Okay. Right, so most of this stuff is already kind of done as we have, we do have an import. Um, so let's make it so that we can also do something like um right so we've got here import with a file name short import with a file name and then import and a force I've got any errors on that yeah, just empty errors and stuff, okay. And then the export should be similar, yeah, okay. Okay, let's make it so that... Well, it's going to basically be this. P 
suppose we need these two. Well, actually, let's just do it this way. We will take those three and duplicate them. Mm, yeah. So it's subcommand import. And then we have this thing where we can optionally just put in the file name. That should do it. And then we can do the same again. I should just take that. But we do file name. Oops. And then here we have an import sub command with short form ripple. And here we have sub command. Oh, that should be F, shouldn't it? Is that what I said I was going to do? I didn't put a short form, okay. But that's what we did on the export, so we'll keep that consistent there. Um, and then on the we do this one, we do a long form file name. And we're not using force anymore, we're doing update. Um, it makes more sense, basically. Update true. That should work, um, but it's going to fail because we don't have a sub command for that. So run the tests. Fail. Doesn't know about these things. Doesn't know about it. So no options supplied. All right. Let's build it out then. Uh, so, we do have a default. We should have some text we can nick. So, import snippets from farm, that's fine. And um, what we'll do is do this. Import snippets from the file. We're going to do import here. It's 
fine. Don't need anything in there to change. We need to basically duplicate export. We'll be changing in a minute because I need to change. Uh, it's got two flags. Um, so. We're going to change export to import. And again, lowercase. Uh, right, so init import snippets, blah blah blah. Flags at import, import options. Hmm, okay. Okay, we'll fix all them up while I had at it. Okay. So that should now have flags in it, yeah. Okay. Missed that one. So import default file. No, we don't have that. So that can go file name to be imported so we'll be looking for an empty one and we're not having a default there So we can change this. This is going to be where we're going to have our update. So we'll call this update as a boolean. Should have just done a little global replace on that one, mini one. Oh well. Update usage. Um. I have text for that.
What did I do there? Update existing snippets with with same abbreviation. Update. Okay. Oh. Yeah. So, if we can display help, then we just do usage with the current flags, which is set and go out. Uh, if passing the flags doesn't work, we show usage. Uh, so the command is going to be import file name and then update however well, I guess that's okay oh we were going to do it so that you can have a Optional. File name. We'll do this basically. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we've got to be careful here. Right, actually we need two. We do need to do this. We need to do the usual pattern of you have to supply a file name either through a flag Or the first param arc. Um, so here, I'll just make a global change here. And So if Why is that complaining? Oh, okay. Yeah, it's the same thing, isn't it? Import file. I might have to change that all oh, actually. But we'll see. Okay.
Right, so we come in, we're looking for an import file from the flag file name um, and whether we should update <laughs> to update file name to be imported, update existing snippets with same abbreviation. Um, Okay, flags changed file name, import file. File name required if we don't set one. Otherwise, grab it. If it's still not set, usage, file name required. And command is import. And we have two parameters, file name and update. Okay. So in theory, that will pass the test that we've just made, I think. Yeah. So let's test the failure conditions. These import things are a little bit skinny. But we are going to do We want to do the same as this last stuff here. Stick it in here. They should have found as well. Cool. Okay, but now we actually need to hook things up. So the command is going to be import. And we should be able to get file name. If we have an update. We may set that. And then we go do the thing. So in theory, it might just work. OK, let's find out. Uh, first things first, make all the things. Just the CLI. Get the daemon up and running. And then in the CLI here, um, we don't have anything to import. So let's do, all right, let's do a couple of things first. So we'll do an export. So you've now got a new file there. And then I will 
copy that. And we'll call it new.json. And we'll take out a whole bunch. Uh, Got a couple of test ones there. What we'll do is take everything down to here out. Got those two left. And we will keep this one intact. And we'll just change it up so it says it is important to wibble all day long. Now this one's going to be a new one. And we will call it um import test this is a new snippet Wink. Okay, let's try that. So we should in theory get two files processed. One is a imp uh, update, one is a create uh, and non skipped. That's if I do update. So let's try that. Snippet big C. Let's uh, zap it. Hold on. Let's clear it. Snippy Pixie import, and then I'm just going to give it the file name and see what happens. Uh, which was new.json. So it should skip one because we've already got the abbreviation and create this sn snippet test. Okay, cool. Um, Yeah, and I should probably do script B that Jason. Diff snippets and B. Do what? Did it not create the file? Oh, interesting. Because oh, I gave it the wrong format. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh well, so that's my fault. That is, though I might have to, uh, I really might have to do a fix on that. 
import test is there. That's good in the export. Um, and if I go down to the end, didn't touch Wibble because we said not to update it. Okay. Let's do import new JSON. <coughs> I wonder if this will work. Don't know whether this will work. It did. Okay, cool. So we skipped um, snippet uh, import test. And we updated Wibble in theory. So I'll just do a quick export. I don't care, I'll just let it do its thing. <clears throat> and then import test is still the same. And Ribble has now been imported. That's good. If I Snippet Pixie, remove um, Wibble and import test. Do a quick export. Have a look. No import, and the Wibble has gone. Okay, um, so if I run import, let's do it with file name equals created to, updated zero, deleted zero, and so on. Export, look at the file. Imports there, and so is the Wibble. And now let's do big change. Wibble wobble all day long. And then I'm going to take out that import. Don't want it anymore. Um, so. And then I'm going to snippet pixie import snippets with an update. 83 skipped and one updated. And if I export and look at the file. No import. And Ripple wobbles back to how it was. We're good. All right. And that's a new sub command. That's nice. Clean up a little bit. And I think commit. Should actually just do a quick um, let's do a quick uh, make 
test of the place, make sure everything's okay here. Very good. Okay. Another one down. That was quick. Just a little thing that just occurred. If I do Snippy Pixie help. Yes, and that's fine. Okay. That's fine. All right, that is implemented. Okay, so we're now down to, so these top two are the ones that need to be done um, before I could start looking at UI stuff. This can wait basically at the moment. Um, he says, maybe. Do I have to think about them though? So, <clears throat> they're both awkward. So this one, I've got nothing on it, okay. Actually, I should put... a little note here. The package, and then I'll go find it. What was it called? Um, where was I using it? In here, that one.
it's the issue. So that package that I'm using for um, passing a string of time style string into a date format. Sorry, passing a date into an output format um, is using month, day, year instead of day, month, year. Um, it doesn't have any locale stuff in it either. So that's something I need to look at. I think that's going to be my next thing, but I think I'll keep this uh, this particular one short. Sure, I've done help and I've done import, um, and now I need to kind of decide whether I should tackle that, which is it has a workaround because you can just not use percent %x, you can use percent %d slash m slash y, um, or whether I should actually tackle doing the auto expand, which is going to be interesting. Um, because I'm not sure whether there's going to be a package for passing that and I'm going to have to probably write from scratch something that handles the dbus at spi um, events but I'll have to look into that but for the time being um, it's good that uh, I managed to get that help stuff and import fixed up and now we're just going to have to do the last couple of things that make it command line useful um, before I switch to doing GUI stuff. Um, but yeah, I've got a week or two of stuff, I think, probably, before I switch to GUI. But we'll see. Um, anyway, uh, until next time, uh, thanks for watching and you take care.